The arguments that lead to war are rooted in two alternative thinking. Each side essentially says to the other, my claims were superior to yours. My ideology is better than yours. My religion is superior to yours. You must give way. This type of scarcity mentality reigns. It is a zero-sum game in which one side must lose or the other cannot win. In my new book, I show how third alternative thinking is being successfully applied in the world we live in. A contentious world where the danger of catastrophic war is very real and pervasive. When we ask thousands of people around the world what is the most important challenge facing our planet today, they agreed it is stopping war and terrorism. New solutions to such age-old problems are possible because third alternatives break the mold of us against them. We all have a stake in the peaceful creative solutions that third alternative thinking can bring to our local communities, our states, and our nations. We need nothing less than a revolution in the way we debate and conduct diplomacy. The conflict in the Middle East is only one sore point. In my book, I showcase many exemplary people who are trying to get to the third alternative in the Middle East, and their efforts can teach us much about the kind of synergy that's possible in our own circles of influence. I belong to an international forum devoted to building a better relationship between the West and the world Islamic community. This forum includes some of the world's leading diplomats, including former U.S. Secretary of State Madeleine Albright. Not too long ago, they invited me to join one of their forum meetings to teach them about the mindset and practices of synergy and thinking third alternatives. We spent a few days together learning and practicing principles of empathic listening and skills for truly understanding each person. Each person was challenged to really listen deeply, to open themselves to contrary views and to feel another person's heart. As we went through this process, I could see that this distinguished group was totally transformed. People who were on different sides of almost every issue, cultural, social, religious, came to understand each other, respect each other, even love each other. I watched this happen, and it was one of the most profound experiences in my life. Madeleine Albright told me she had never seen anything so powerful and revolutionary, and that it could totally revolutionize international diplomacy. When people arrive at Synergy, their hearts are understood, and their minds become open, creative, and courageous. Defensiveness is removed, fear dissipates, and creativity emerges. When enough of these transformations take place, you can't stop third alternatives from flowing. You reach a tipping point where people will no longer accept the unacceptable and move forward to an abundant future together. I firmly believe that the third alternative approach is our best hope for humankind. We have to stop our ways and stop the destruction, the sheer loss of lives and the devastation inflicted on so many can be stopped. This begins with each of us in our own circle of influence, whether at home, at work, or in our community. We can be examples of third alternative and create peace in our lives. And we can grow our influence to help others discover peace.